I the a-hole for kicking my mother-in-law's guest out of my wedding? Long story short, I, male 31, have been with my now wife for three years in total, and we got married days ago. I love my in-laws. However, some of them clearly don't like me for some reason. My mother-in-law tends to be mean and controlling, although she never say anything bad to me directly. Her behavior's the issue. Mother-in-law and most of the family are in close relationship with my wife's ex-husband. He was out of the country for a year or so, but I noticed he was being invited to family events, slash birthdays, slash family trips. Me and my wife just decided to not go because of how awkward it was. It's awful. I haven't bonded well with my nieces and nephews as they talk about the ex instead of me. I don't hang out with wife's brothers nor do any family stuff with them because the ex has taken over. He always either ignores me or insults me to my face, says he's times 10 better financially than me. I talked to my mother-in-law about this and she firmly shut me down, saying it's her house and it's her life. She invites whoever she wants, period. Before the wedding, I discovered my mother-in-law sent a secret invitation to her former son-in-law. I told her no, but she argued about it. My wife and I put our foot down and that's when mother-in-law stepped back. At our wedding, I saw her father-in-law coming with her former son-in-law. I was in shock, so I pulled them aside and asked why they brought him, that he needed to leave because I didn't want him in my wedding. Mother-in-law argued that it's her guest. Family don't need invitation. I reminded her it's my wedding, then I asked the guy to leave. They jumped to defend him, but I insisted, telling them they can leave as well. Mother-in-law called me insecure controlling jerk, and her daughter should call off the wedding right then. When my wife agreed with me, they screamed at her talking about me mistreating her. My parents weren't pleased by that. My mother-in-law left and the others followed. We are not speaking right now, and they have been getting berated by the family for kicking out their guests out of spite and disrespect towards the family, and how that affected their relationship with their former son-in-law. Now for the top comments. Not day hall. Your in-laws are out of line, but I'm very glad your wife has your back. Sounds like you will be hanging out with your side of the family more and the ex can have the selfish side. Out of line? They're out of their minds. Right, and the ex too. That is the kind of stuff that happens in movies. I half believe they expected the ex to proclaim his love during the wedding and the bride to run off with him and leave Opie at the altar. Nope, not so much. My mother-in-law didn't like me. She and my sister-in-law started to invite my husband's ex-wife to family functions. He told them in no uncertain terms he did not want ex-wife there. They still continued to invite her, so we stopped going to family functions. Not they hole He wasn't just their guest, but your wife's ex-husband. That's extremely inappropriate, no matter how you cut it. Was he planning on objecting to the wedding to declare his love for her, or was it just to ruin the event for the both of you by him being there? Either way, it was meant to intentionally hurt you. Obviously, they're hoping his constant presence with their support will bring their daughter around. But now it looks like they could lose their daughter over this. Cut out anyone who takes their side after knowing the facts. Their guest. Well, you're all my guests. So, GTFO. <laughs> Seriously, who attends their ex's wedding without permission? Not day hall. First, your wedding, your choice. Second, it's highly inappropriate for an ex to attend their former partner's wedding without being invited by their former partner. Third, they were told that he was not welcome. They have no right to surprise you with this. And what about your very clear, very expected reaction? I'm sorry they like the ex so much. Unfortunately, I doubt that will change. Best accept it now. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for not inviting my child-free sister-slash-brother-in-law to my child-friendly wedding? My 27 female sister is the third born out of four siblings, with me being the youngest, and we have two older brothers. Both our brothers have kids, and I have two kids of my own. And whenever our sister finds out there's a baby on the way, she acts like it's the worst thing in the world. She doubled down on this with me, because I'm a woman. Once the kids were born, she wouldn't let them call her auntie, which, okay, said she'd never willingly babysit, which no one ever asked her to do. Then she started making comments which she presented as jokes, like calling the kids leeches and bastards. 
She won't interact with any of her, seven total, nieces and nephews. She attends events with them there, but ignores them the whole time except for when she complains that she came out to talk to adults, not deal with little kids. Her husband is the same. I'm getting married. I want my kids there, as well as my nieces slash nephews and a handful of other kids from both families. I also don't want my sister moaning about being surrounded by kids, as they probably make up about one-fourth to one-third of the guest list. So my sister isn't invited. However, I figured I had to have a conversation with my sister and brother-in-law to tell them what I'm planning, so they aren't blindsided when the invites go out in a few weeks. Sister is treating this as an affront. She is highly offended that I won't be inviting her, and that she was being excluded over her lifestyle. I said it's not the lifestyle, it's the attitude. She's saying I've not even given her a chance, and that as I was her bridesmaid, she should at least get an invite, and has said I'm being a huge a-hole for excluding her from my wedding over this. I said that if she wasn't such an a-hole to the kids, then I wouldn't need to exclude her in the first place. Dad agrees that I should invite who I want, but mom sides with my sister, saying it's unfair I'm excluding her, and that she should be invited. Plus, it's not like she'll do anything, and the worst thing she could possibly do, given her history, is tell another adult that she isn't a fan of all the kids there. Am I the a-hole? You're the a-hole. Probably not going to be a popular take. Yes, you can invite anyone you want to your wedding, so you have a right to not invite your sister. Yes, your sister has been the a-hole around your family, but that's not what you're asking. You're asking if you are the a-hole by not inviting your sister to your wedding. And the answer for me is yes. Look, she clearly has major issues around children and has been the a-hole toward you and your families, for sure. But to me, it seems you're not inviting her more out of revenge, to hurt her back for her hurtful comments. As your mother says, what exactly is the worst thing that can happen? Your sister witches to other guests? What I think you should have done. Pulled her aside and told her that while she's entitled to her personal opinions about children, you're going to have to insist she not express any of that during your own wedding. Ask her if she can do that. If she says yes, great. If she makes a fuzz, say you insist and those are the conditions. Alert the wedding planner beforehand to be on the lookout for this, so that the wedding planner can deal with your sister if necessary. Then enjoy the wedding. Unless you're leaving something out, like she never listens and always creates scenes, I think it's wrong to preemptively assume she won't be able to control herself and not invite your own sister to your wedding when you were her bridesmaid. Wow. Usually, this subreddit assumes that will happen and calls anything about not inviting anyone to a wedding, not they hall. Funny how this time around they flock to defend. Gentle, everyone sucks here. I'm landing with your mom. It's not like the two of you have a bad relationship by the sounds of it. You were her bridesmaid after all. So I feel the reason for denying someone an invitation like this should be a bit stronger than they'll probably make a comment about a kid or two. It doesn't sound like you actually tried to sit them down about their behavior either during any of this. Maybe give them a small prep talk on how this behavior is a real bummer and you won't have it at your wedding. Don't get me wrong, you have every right to invite anyone you want to your wedding. But I do feel the majority of people would agree that this is a pretty shitty reason to exclude your sister. Should I invite someone who frequently insults my kids, refuses to acknowledge them as family, and calls them leeches and insulted me when I was pregnant to my wedding? Fixed the title. Not they hull. Seriously, like why does your prized Pikachu face about not being invited slash being asked to be in the wedding party? The whole you were in my bridal party sounds like expected reciprocation to me. She either doesn't show up to a child-friendly events or complains to anyone who will listen. Why does Opie need to give her the chance to turn her down? She's saving herself stress and hurt feelings about her own wedding. I know if I'm planning a party, I'm not inviting people that are going to be horrible to my kids for just existing. Why would this be different? Next story is titled, Am I the a-hole for quitting to be in my sister's bridal party? I love my sister to pieces, but she's turning out to be a real bridezilla. She sat her wedding right at the end of our semesters, and when my mom and I tried to tell her that it wasn't the best idea, she said she could handle doing everything for the wedding and school. Well, she can't. She's been asking me to do tons of things to help her, which I'm okay with, but I think she forgets I also have school, a newborn, and work. 
Anyways, she asked me to choreograph part of her surprise dance at her wedding, and I agreed. But then my projects, essays, and tests have gotten in the way. I do have some of it done, more than half, but I'm busy. We had a small rehearsal today. All of us wore masks, and most of us are vaccinated. And when it got to my part of the dance, I apologetically told her I didn't have the whole song yet. She went off on me in front of the bridal party about how the wedding is coming up soon, and I had one job and how I could do this to her. It might have been how exhausted I am, but I threw in her face that I found her caterer, did her invites, made her guest book, found a bridesmaid's dresses, I'm doing hair and makeup for everyone the day off, and so many other things. She played a victim, saying she was so stressed and I wasn't being helpful with my attitude. And I told her it was her fault for setting the date so soon. I ended the fight telling her I would finish the choreography and still do her hair and makeup. But I was done with the bridal party because I have a life to take care of. And I'm done with her bridezilla attitude. My parents and husband agree with me, but the rest of the bridal party told me I was an a-hall and I should understand how stressful a wedding is. I get that. I did everything for my own wedding, but I gave myself enough time so I wouldn't be a pain in the ass for everyone. So, am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. You are doing your best. She's out of line. She's making it harder on herself. Weddings are special, but idealizing the process is just not healthy in my opinion. Dance isn't perfectly choreographed. Who cares? Becomes a funny story. No bloody dance is fine. Why the hell is there even a choreographed dance? No one is going to care if it's there or not. Sure, that sort of thing can be fun, slash nice when it's reflective of the couple, but she isn't even the one choreographing it. How can the bride expect so much of everyone? Not a day hole. She doesn't get to unload on you because she set her expectations unreasonably. The rest of the bridal party just doesn't want to deal with her. And knows with you gone, they get to be the cannon fodder. Exactly. Her parents and her husband know the kind of stress her sister is inflicting on her, but the bridal party? They probably want a free ride without having to lift a single finger for the wedding. If Opie does hair and makeup, then they don't have to worry about it because I bet Opie is doing it for free. Not day hole. I get so tired of this BS about how stressful a wedding is. A wedding is only extremely stressful if you make it that way by building it up in your head into this be-all and all event that has to be picture perfect and flawless or else you'll just die. I am not sure why people do that to themselves or why others go along with that nonsense, but I am sure you are not obligated to put up with your sister's verbal abuse and thoughtless selfish demands on your time. You are kind to still be willing to do the choreography and her hair and makeup, because she obviously doesn't appreciate your time and talents. The rest of the bridal party can pick up the slack themselves, instead of trying to avoid that by shaming you into doing more than you have the time or desire to do. Now for the last story. Would I be the a-hole if I told my parents that unless they contribute to the wedding, they are uninvited? I always had a bad relationship with my parents. They were never good at nurturing. They were disinterested in us unless they could get something through us. I'm getting married in May to the love of my life. When we started planning for the wedding, my parents made it clear that they didn't have the money nor the intention to pay for the wedding in any way. My fiancé and his parents are paying for about 80% of it, which is the religious ceremony, the venue, with table decorations and all, the food and the music, and I am putting the last 20% which is gonna be transportation with buses from the nearest big city to the venue, the photographer, the party favors, and my wedding dress, slash shoes, slash hair, slash makeup. I don't have a lot of money either. I just got back to work after a year being unemployed because of COVID. I don't have any money to waste. I'm too proud to go to my in-laws for help as they already pay for more than their share of the wedding. They shouldn't shoulder my part as well. Fortunately, I found a great charity that helps brides like me that can't put thousands of dollars into one dress. They rent wedding dresses that are donated to them for very cheap. I'll only have to pay for the adjustments. A friend of mine agreed to do my hair and makeup as a wedding present. That saves me a lot of money, and it's a huge relief for me. On Friday, my sister called me to tell me that my parents have bought clothes for my wedding, and that they have been bragging and showing it off to her. She told me it's really expensive, over-the-top clothes with shoes and jewelry to go with it, and that they said that overall, it had cost them close to $2,000. 
That made me angry because they really didn't need to spend that much money on it. And if they had that money to spare, I could have used it for the wedding. And maybe I'm vain, but it bothers me that my parents are going to be better dressed than me on my wedding. On a deeper level, since they obviously do have the extra money, it hurts me that they didn't want to help with the wedding. I feel rejected and neglected, like I've always been with them. I decided that I don't want to put up with that anymore. I want them to participate financially to the wedding, even if it's just a small amount. My budget for party favors is $300, and I want them to pay for that. And if they say they can't, then I don't want them to come to my wedding. They were never really family anyway. My family are my siblings and my friends, and my soon-to-be husband. I would like to have them there, but under my terms, not theirs. I don't need them, and it might be petty, but if they refuse to pay, I will feel vindicated because they would have wasted all this money in outfits they aren't going to wear, because they won't have the occasion. So, would I be the a-hole? You're the a-hole. It's your right to not invite your parents, or anyone, to your wedding. It's not your right to demand your parents, or anyone, to financially contribute to a wedding that you're choosing to have. Figure out whether you want your parents there at all, but leave the pay for your wedding out of it. You put it much better than I would have. It sounds from the post like Opie has a very complicated, to put it mildly, relationship with her parents. It's fine to go low or no contact, but it's not okay to make the wedding invitation contingent on a financial contribution. Either invite them or don't. Especially since the pot calling the kettle black, having their affection contingent on what they can gain is exactly what she said she hated about her parents. I understand she's stressed about money and hurt by her parents' behavior and excuses, but she needs to deal with her feelings without being spoiled. You're the a-hole. If you can't afford an expensive wedding, don't have one. Stop relying on other people to pay for the lifestyle you can't afford. My in-laws want the expensive wedding. He is their only child, which is why they are paying for most of it. I have budgeted the $300 and I can come up with them on my own. I want this as a gesture that they care enough about me to contribute, or if they don't care, then they don't come. You're the a-hole. It truly doesn't matter what the details are. Your parents don't automatically owe it to you to pay for your wedding because they bought new outfits to wear. If you can't afford the wedding you want, without assuming everyone in your family owes you, then you downsize or wait and save, like the vast majority of people. Grow up already and stop acting like the wedding is a debt owed to you.